Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel, my name is Antoine and in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple Watch to your PC so you can get all the information that you need for your watch like serial number, battery cycle count, etc, etc and of course restoring your Apple Watch without using a dongle. So without MFC, without AWRT dongle, uh, so yeah this will be a very fun experience and uh, of course a very fun experiment <laughs> to test. And we are going to use a charger flex cable from an iPhone 6s and obviously uh, your Apple Watch. So this will work on Apple Watch Series 7000 to Series 3 because they almost have the same structure CPU on board. So uh, how you connect your watch? Well, uh, you need to remove the cap that secures the connector on your Apple Watch. And I'm using my Series 2 today as a demo. And as you can see, there is a five pins and I'm going to show you every one of them uh, what that line means or the pin means. It's the same as the iPhone structure. And as you can see, this is the first one. This is the ground. Second one will be TriStar DPIE con positive. Third one will be TriStar DP1 connector N negative. And fourth one, PP TriStar ACC1 connector. And the last one will be PP 5V0, which is 5 volt USB hour power. So this is the 5 pins that you need to connect your flex to your watch and uh, on series 7000 series 1 is the same but they have six pins and you don't have to connect uh, the last pin uh, to anything uh, now i'll be testing this uh, on um, a normal connection and also uh, restoring it using mfc to see if mfc really needs the ibus or not and this may require you to open your watch in my case it's already opened and again it's a demo uh, but if you have a good soldering head and microscope you can just do it no problems uh, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, now let's jump under the microscope and uh, begin doing uh, our jumpers. <laughs> uh, let me just show you how to uh, uh, remove the uh, connector, the flex connector, which is holded by, uh, as you can see, the battery and two screws. I'm going to show you now how to remove the battery. Uh, it's glued by a black scotch. So don't be afraid, just be careful, as you can see, remove the battery and now let's just unscrew the screws, there are only two screws and this is the uh, flex to the connector of the Apple Watch. Now before we get started, let me just show you uh, on the board view of the ZXW, this is the iPhone 6S uh, board view. Actually, I'm going to show you the lines that you have to connect to the uh, charging flex cable from the iPhone 6S. It's going to be the opposite, as you can see on the board. And uh, as you can see, those are the, the, uh, the lines that I said. You need to just do a jumpers from the uh, charging flex cable to the pins on the Apple Watch. So this is the final result, the final results are here and now I'm going to test the Apple Watch by connecting it to my PC using three tools and uh, then I will try to restore it using MFC software. Uh, so uh, I guess yeah this is uh, our test for, the, for this experiment. Let me just uh, put my uh, PC screen over there, yep here we go. So uh, let's start testing.
So we restore the watch, everything is okay, everything is working perfectly. This is a new way, I guess, to connect your watch, even if you don't have the AWRT or the iBus dongle to restore or to connect your watch to your PC. It may require you to open the watch, in my case it already been opened. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.